All right, Malik, you had a great season last year when you were in Barry. You came back. Uh, yesterday was just unbelievable, and then today with the big walk-off, how are you feeling after a couple games back? Feeling good. Um, I'm seeing the ball well, so, I mean, that, that helps a lot when you see it well, and I'm just putting good swings on good pitches, so, yeah. What's it like rejoining a team that you had some success with last year and building back more and more relationships and coming back with the fans? Well, I'm, I'm really comfortable here. I know a lot of the guys, and there's a few new guys, so that's nice, but I'm really comfortable here, and I'd say like that's what's keeping me so relaxed. Late innings, you come up in extra innings. It hasn't been a fairly long game. It's been a pretty short one to that point. How does that affect when you come into extra innings when it's still a short game? Is it more like just coming up in a normal at-bat? Yeah, I try not to think too much. just try to do my thing, and, and that's what I did, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congrats on the big hit, and congrats on the big day yesterday. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I, I mentioned that we're going to give you some really, really tough questions. And after that big uh, win, uh, you you need big questions. It was too easy today. Uh, but seriously, the last couple of games, big battles, uh, big extra innings wins. What's it like to go back to that clubhouse and just kind of decompress after a couple of big wins? You know, the guys went through like a little bit of a tough stretch there where we were still competing, just the ball didn't really go our way. So in cases like last night and tonight when stuff does go our way, like, you know, it, it just shows our resilience and the, the talented group of guys we got in the clubhouse there. So it's great to be around those guys, and, you know, we're just going to fight every night, right? Seems like you guys and the Kitchener Panthers come up with a really nice rivalry. Like, every single game between you two really is must-watch, and it shows on the field how much you guys both care. Is there an extra intensity when it comes against the Kitchener Panthers, a big rival? Uh, I wouldn't say that there's an extra intensity. Obviously, we respect them as a ball club. They're very talented up and down their lineup, as we are. Uh, that one game we had against them Monday night uh, a couple weeks ago there was a very good ball game, too. And it's good, just good, clean baseball all around. So that's what you get when you get two talented lineups up against each other, right? So I think it's more so just a mutual respect, and we both play the game the right way, and that's, you know, that's what generates, stud. <laughs> that's what generates good out outcomes, right? So you mostly played catcher in the IBL coming into this year, but with Josh Cote's emergence now, Malik Williams coming in, you've had to move around the diamond a little bit, played third base today. How'd that feel, and where are you looking going forward position-wise? Uh, you know, I, I'm, that, that's the one thing that I've always prided myself on is just being versatile in the lineup. Uh, with Cote being hot and Malik coming in, swinging it very well, obviously that makes Matlow's uh, job right in the lineup extremely difficult. Uh, and it's extremely difficult for him, you know, when you guys, when we have so much depth and, you know, up and down the lineup for us is extremely talented. So, you know, I, I feel bad for him sometimes having to, to put down that lineup card. Lots knowing, of tough calls. Knowing he's got a ton of talent uh, on the bench. But, you know, I think that's what makes us such a great team is if one guy's not going to do it, the next guy's going to step up and, and, and hop right in there. All right, Hayden, last one. Vibes are looking pretty good after these last couple of games. Uh, what are your expectations for the next few? There's a couple off days, but then right back on Thursday and a couple of games against Guelph coming up. Well, there's lots of baseball coming up. I think both of our next two weeks are, are four-game weeks, so lots of baseball coming down this home stretch. And as long as we – you know, the guys are great. We're going to keep the vibes up in there, and we're just going to battle, uh, win, lose, tie, go into extras, whatever it may be. I know those guys are going to keep their heads up, and we're going to come out to fight every night. So. All right, awesome game today. Congrats on the win. Uh, enjoy it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, Josh, you guys got some awesome pitching today. I mean, Frank Gar says, other than the one big home run, he, he was vintage Frank Gar says, looked great. Frank always keeps us in the ball game. Uh, we're grateful for, you know, how deep he goes in games and keeps us alive and gets, gives us a chance every single time he's out there. So, um, yeah, kudos to Frank. Um, great pitching on their end, too. It was a, it was a pitcher's duo. It was a good team. Great team, actually. Um, so it was nice to, to battle properly, play a great baseball game with some strategy, properly manage a ball game too. So it was fun. Well, I was talking to Hayden. It, it always just feels like the intensity between these two teams. It feels like a rivalry. Um, this is the second time you guys have faced Kitchener and Juan Benitez come in relief. Last time it was more an opener. This time it was more just, you know, the Evan Soul spot since Soul's pitched yesterday. Did that time using Benitez as an opener prepare him to be used in relief today? Um, maybe not. Maybe not. I think it was just the uh, the two games this weekend gave us a chance to use uh, Juan because he wasn't going to throw this weekend. 
Um, we gave it to Souls. Juan wasn't able to come yesterday, so it worked out nicely. He, I don't think he gave up a hit. He no, was, he looked he, great. He was lights out, so uh, exactly what we needed him to do, he did it. Gave us a chance, and Malik does Malik things. So. Yeah, he's unbelievable. I mean, you look at yesterday, the big home run looked fantastic. I think it was four hits or three hits and a walk, something like that. Three hits and his fourth hit almost took the left fielder's arm off when he caught it on the line drive. And I'm still convinced that home run he hit went through the fence. He hit it so hard. And then today, the walk-off hit, having him in the middle of the order just makes your decisions even tougher. Yeah, well, pick your poison with Rio there and uh, all the big guys. So it just adds more depth, as we have, you know. But uh, a big right-handed bat is what we've always needed. Um, I don't know how long we're going to have him. He's that good of a player, but we're grateful to have him. You look at the top of the order. You used Kenis Ijo in leadoff and then Noel batting second today. How much of that was lefty-righty versus just experimenting with different ideas yeah i think they were they were both struggling um and uh, if you remember last year you had the wilson and and mcgarry doyle also in that scenario where we flopped them and all of a sudden they woke up and uh it was just one of those things just change it up a little bit take the pressure off the leadoff guy kenny's can handle it um but we have great players at the top of the order and uh great players all around so we're just we're just trying to play with a few things and see where we can get these guys back caught all right coming up a couple of games against guelph uh in the near future after a couple of wins here uh what's your mindset and how are you going to prepare against that Guelph Royals team. They're yeah, a tough team. Very tough team, and uh, we're not going to take them lightly for sure. It doesn't matter what the standings look like. Um, we have four of our pitchers going four games in a row. Um, I think we're going to try and get off to a hotter start. Um, it seems it takes four or five innings to, to get going at home. Um, obviously, on the road, we're, we're, we're hot right now, but um, we just want to score. We want to give our pitchers a chance, and uh, we're going to get we're going to get some good pitching. And you mentioned this to me a little bit before the game, Starlin Rodriguez. What's his status? Hoping to have him Thursday. We're, hope, we're hoping for Thursday. Um, he doesn't say a whole lot. That's the problem. Um, but we're hoping he's Thursday. He looks like he's getting better. Uh, he wanted to take BP today. We shut it down, but uh, he, he he's got to be close. If he's not, we'll give him another week. But he's almost there. All right. Thank you very much. Congrats on the win. Thank you.